All right, so I got this uh, Fiberware dishwasher. It's a portable dishwasher. And I gotta say, I've been really impressed with it. So um, it's pretty neat. Yeah, let's clean up this planet. Goodbye 2020, hello 2021. I thought it'd be funny to put the globe in there. <clears throat> it's pretty neat. It, uh, it holds uh, about three or four plates and a few dishes, or a few cups, and uh, some about, about a dozen or so pieces, eight to 10 to 12 pieces of silverware up there. Works really well, cleans it up. Um, the only like major part is like filling it with water can be a little bit uh, tedious. So if you can, so you can actually like hook it up back here. So you've got your drain and then you've got another hookup for the water. I really don't have the capabilities of hooking it up for water. I mean, let me show you how to fill this up with water first. <clears throat> there is this, so it has this little cover that kind of twists in and twists out. I'm not really sure why there's this like filter and then another filter in there, but it has that little filter, but it's almost like that filter almost makes it harder to fill. It came, it came with this pitcher to fill it up, but I think it's harder to use that fit filter. So I've since gone to using just a gallon jug. So uh, I wouldn't, so I've got a gallon jug of water here, like an actual was water, but I've just been, I don't usually fill it with purified water, I've been filling it with water, tap water, but, so I use this and you kind of got to pour slowly into there and you just kind of got to fill and it will take more than a gallon. It actually takes almost two gallons of water and it can be just tedious. You just got to fill it up. So that's, that really is the only thing. So I would say like, you know, it's probably better to hook it up to the water than filling it up, but um, it's, you know, I'd rather fill it up than wash dishes, I'll tell you that much. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up and then we're gonna fill it, we're gonna put some dishes in and we'll catch back up at the end a little bit. So if you're asking yourself, I have a small apartment or RV and I don't have a dishwasher, should I get one? If you're looking at this Farberware dishwasher, I would say the answer is definitely yes. Uh, I've had this for about two weeks and it saved me a whole lot of time and a lot of hassle. It's made washing the dishes much easier and it's, it's really just been a great little dishwasher. Let me show you some things about it here. Uh, you have a couple of different modes. You have glass, you have fruit, and you have baby care. You have rapid and normal. And it's an air fresher mode where mainly it's kind of like kind of blows the air through over the, the smell of the dish soap and kind of out this little fan here on the side and uh, makes kind of a fresher smell in the kitchen. Um, the normal mode takes about two hours and 10 minutes. I've uh, just washed this load of dishes here. Um, if I were to say, you know, that there's anything I don't like about the dishwasher, it's really hard for me to find things. Um, I don't have the capability of hooking it up to the sink, so I have to fill it and it takes a while to fill with this uh, nifty little pitcher that they brought here. So you gotta fill it three times with that little pitcher. So that can be a bit annoying. Uh, I definitely recommend a good audio book while you're just standing there pouring water in it slowly. It's got this little pour thing here. Now you can hook it up to your sink. There's a way to hook it up, install it, um, so that it has its own water supply, but I just didn't have those means in this apartment. Um, gonna kind of try to show you the back here. But there's uh, the drain and um, the drain goes into the sink and I definitely recommend um, holding down this, the drain um, with a magnet because I found that the little suction cup doesn't suction cup well. But if you, if you magnetize it to your sink and put something metal on it, 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 it wires really well. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about this. Um, roll out this little stand here. You can see you can fit uh, silverware up here, maybe about uh, eight or 10 pieces of silverware. Nice and clean. And then you can see I've got a few other things in here, some glasses, a pot, and a lid. So just some random stuff, and that's where you just do your dishwashing all the time with it. So anyways, uh, I'll show you some more stuff. Okay, so I've got it about as loaded up as I can right now. I don't really have um, that many pieces of silverware that are dirty right now, but I've got a few pieces of dip silverware in there. You see I've got a plate and, and quite a few cups, glasses, water bottle, coffee cup. Uh, that type of stuff. You can see the, the water bottles um, lid in there. So I got all that. So we're going to push this back in here. 
It all fits in there, pretty snug. We're gonna take our, we're gonna get our soap over here. Look, you can see a little bit of milk residue on that glass there. So we're gonna see how well it gets that out of there. You can see it right around the edge of the bottom there and stuff. Anyway, so we bought the soap in there. We're gonna close it up. So it's got the normal cycle, which I like to use the best. It does run for two minutes and, or two hours and 10 minutes. Uh, so we are in normal cycle. I've also got the air freshener set up. It's got an air freshener, it just freshens the air. And we're gonna push start. And it starts up. So now it's pumping the water and pretty soon you'll see the water start to go around in there and spinning and stuff like that. So. Okay, so now it's doing its thing. It's uh, spinning the things with water down there, going around, getting up inside all of those dishes. See uh, the little residues of milk in that jar right there, and they get washed away. And uh, we'll see if two hours later, if it's all washed away or not. And so we've got all there. And that water right now is 73 degrees Fahrenheit, but eventually it will reach 158 degrees. So uh, it'll be uh, killing quite a bit of germs. Oh, look there. I can already see that there is less milk residue there, just even from the time that we looked away. So it's definitely doing working out there. Uh, and you can see the silverware up there, getting some water up there on that. And everything's getting nice and clean in there. So this has been my, uh, so we'll, when it's all done, I will show you what the dishes look like when it's all done. This is my Farberware dishwasher. Thought you might want to get a really good look inside of this. So you can kind of see how it works. So it looks almost like a regular size dishwasher in there. You've got your little, uh, spinny plate here and then if you look up there you've actually got another spinning thing here which water comes out of both of those nice light in and there you goes that so anyway i'm going to load it up with some cup right there another coffee cup uh, i like to use jars for cups so um some of those in there. <clears throat> uh, I even will put my electric toothbrush head right there. I get an electric toothbrush. I get my toothbrush clean just like that. I put a comb in there. If I wanted to clean a comb, I can basically clean. It has a fruit setting. Um, comes with this fruit basket you can put some fruit in there instead of wash your fruit then you can do that so i've got a few of those in there we're going to put some more stuff in here so here's a video just showing it working um, you can see the water and the jets you can see it uh moving the spatula there you can see there's a there's a considerable amount of pressure and uh it, it does a really good job washing the dishes getting off uh, the specks of stuff and food and leftover milk and jars and stuff like that. So I just wanted to get you a good view. You can hear the noise of it. It's not really very noisy. It's, it's pretty quiet. Uh, it's just warming the water as it goes. The water's up to 82 degrees Fahrenheit in there. And eventually it will reach 158 degrees. So that's uh, hot enough to kill most germs. Not all of them. Germs kind of like to be at the uh, temperature of the human body or something like that. Doctor. I'm not a dishwasher either. That's why I bought this. <laughs>